All right, a shalawa makim, ka hala, yahawa bahasim, yahawa shai bahasim, rakakadas, in the water, yahawa bahasim, yahawa shai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days. As always, double honors to my apostle, that was a great millstone, who rule well, brakatham, and as always, salutations to the zakonium wa akim, which is the elders and the brothers standing stiffly for the names of yahawa, wa yahawa shai, truth and sincerity, and shalawa to the predestined elect. All right, so yeah, today is our Sunday, 21st, uh, June 21st, 2020, the year of prophecy. <laughs> All right, and um, I'm at Fellow Seven Quan from GMS Tampa Bay, Florida. All right, GMS Tampa Bay, the camp out here in um, Florida, the heart of Babylon, the belly of the beast, with another lesson. All right, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of disgusted with this article. All right, but, um, you know, hey, matter of fact, let's get this real quick because this truth has to come out. This is Isaiah 40, 73. All right, and this is speaking about Babylon the Great. All right, spiritually Sodom and Egypt. All right, spiritually Nineveh. All right, and uh, also known today as uh, America, man. Isaiah 47 and 3, and this is our Lord speaking through the mouth of Isaiah. All right, it says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy, sh thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So, yeah, Yahweh Shai is saying when he come back and take vengeance, all right, he is not going to meet uh, you, you people as he did 2,000 years ago, all right, in a feeble body, man, okay? All right, he's coming back in that angelic authority of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, all right, to ultimately, utterly destroy this place, all right, with the chariots of, of he or the chariots of our salvation, which are the UF so-called UFOs, all right, and it said, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, which is what? This filth, all right, your so-called Illuminati, your so-called uh, worshiping of Molat, the sacrificing of children, the sacrifices of people, all right, what you do at these, uh, these uh, parties, all right, these uh, rituals, all right, uh, these orgies you have, Okay, uh, the, the pedophilia, all right? Just complete wickedness, man. All right, complete filth, all right, that you're spreading across the world, man. So we're going to bring out the prophecy of the destruction, but ultimately, all right, I want to turn your attention, all right, to this um, to this pride flag, man. So let's go ahead and play this real quick. And my honor, along with my good friends, to raise the pride flag over City Hall. All right, so, it's my, so she said, it's my honor to pretty, if you couldn't hear it, to raise the city, to uh, raise the pride flag over the city hall, man. <laughs> and we're going to go into what this pride flag means for those that don't know. All right, so I'm going to get right to it because it, it takes a little minute. All right, and as you can see at the bottom, the flag is going up. Uh, let's take it back a little bit like right here. All right. There you go. There you go. This is, this is filth, man. This is foul, man. This is foul. All right, let me see if, uh, I know it gets a little close up on the picture too, so let's go ahead and get that, yeah, 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 right here. Now I want you to pay attention to this flag here. And as you can see, the flag has two colors, and this is mockery, the flag has two colors added to it. That's why it's modified, all right? And as you can see, they have added the brown and the black <laughs> to this uh, flag, man. All right, and that's mockery to you so-called Native American Indians, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Negroes, man. The 12 tribes of Israel. All right, this is mockery. So now, as you can see, the flag, all right, has two colors added to it, right? So check this out. All right, let's, let's, let's read this article and, and bring out this truth. This is Tampa, like, like Isaiah 47 said, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. This is a shameful, man. Tampa WFL. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor, who was speaking, joined others, joined other city leaders, all right, in raising the pride flag, all right, so this is happening all over the world, man, in, in, in different uh, cities in particular states, all right, it says Tampa Mayor Jane Castor joined other city leaders in raising the pride flag over Old City Hall Saturday, all right, in honor of Pride Month, and this uh, June is the Pride Month, all right. For those that don't know, the, the month of June is dedicated to the recognition and acceptance of the LGBTQ community. All right. And it says it was June 28, 1969, when the six day long Stonewall riots in New York City served as a catalyst for the gay rights movement. Wow. All right. So check this out. It says this year marks a different kind of pride month. Mayor Castor said, citing the recent civil unrest in the country amid the George Floyd protests. See? It says, uh, to symbolize inclusion in this time, Castor introduced a modified pride flag. All right, so this is all planned. 
All right, it says, I would like everyone, in quote, I would like everyone to pay attention to this particular flag, Caster said, because it has a black and brown stripe on the flag as well to be inclusive of all our minority communities. Damn. So they making pure mockery of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians by adding the black and uh, brown stripe, which we're not black, man. Okay, we're different shades of brown, man. And, we're, and black is not a nationality, nor is it a heritage, nor is it a culture. <laughs> All right? Black is simply a color, man. Okay, and there's no black person on the planet Earth. The darkest man on the planet Earth, he's just dark brown, man. All right? So um, it says... Um, be Let's go back to the, yep. It says, Tampa bridges, fountains, and park trees have been lit up in rainbow colors all month in celebration of pride. So this is why the Lord ultimately is going to destroy this place, all right? Because this place is, 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 is freaking a freak show, man. America is a, is a freak a freak show, man. All right, so this is great, uh, uh, pride month meaning. Gay pride, right? And as you can see, the flag, like I told you, the, um, the flag has two colors added to it, all right? Which is uh, making pretty much mockery. I have used, uh, used blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, so-called, all right, Seminole Indians, so-called, you are the real Hebrew Israelites, man. You are God's chosen people, whose holy, true, powerful name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son name is Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. All right, it says, uh, gay pride or LGBT, pride is the promotion, all right, of the self-affirmation, dignity, equality. So they're making these, you know, these, uh, these, these freaks, all right, equal to you and, and, and more rights than you. It says, an increased visibility of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people as a social group. Pride as opposed to shame, all right? Pride as opposed to shame and social stigma is the predominant outlook that bolsters most LGBT rights. So now I wanna go to this uh, picture here. And as you can see, I'm not gonna read all this, all right? But it's like I told you, Pride Month is June. All right, and uh, we're in the month of June. Call all y'all, but some shy. It's 1044, 144. Call all y'all, but some shy. All right, um, so look at if you look at, I'm not going to read all these, but uh, you know, let's let's go to the to the and this is all month, man. <laughs> so let's let's go to the day uh 12. And as you can see, they got all type of weird, freaky, freaky stuff, man. Intersex, transgender, free female, transgender male, a gender, uh, gender, gender fluid. Bigender, trigender, pangender, gender queer, demi girl, demi boy, and andro androgen. I ain't never know that even exists. Dang. Intergender, all right. Uh, non non binary, questioning. Dang. All right. Look at this. Is this is filth, man? Aromantic. All right. So all month just celebrating freaks, man. <laughs> all right. So this is this is what this country. All right, promotes and pushes, all right? And as you can see, it was under the American flag. So let's go ahead and, and, and get right to it and, and get out of here, man. Because like I said, it's, it's filth, man. And you, Jake, still wonder why uh, the Lord, Yahweh Basham and Shai, is going to ultimately obliterate this place with thermonuclear missiles, man. All right? St. Luke 17 and 26. As it, as it, and this is the words of Yahweh Shai in red. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat... They drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and we're entering into a spiritual ark. And Noah, rep Noah, who, which name is uh, uh, Comforter, we represent uh, 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 spiritual comforters, man. Because what? The word is in us. And that's in Ephesians. It says the, the, the word is in you all, the Lord is in you all, and, you know, and of you all, man. All right? Roughly to paraphrase it. All right? So what? We, we represent uh, uh, comforters, man, which is the word ultimately. The word is the comforter, all right? But we represent, uh, uh, you know, Noah's, man. We're spiritual Noah's, if you will, all right? Because his name just simply means comforter, man. All right, so it says, enter into the ark. And we're entering into the spiritual ark, man, which is what? The house of David. It says, and the flood came, which is ultimately going to be the chariots, so-called UFOs. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot. Just the point. They did eat, they drank, they bought. They sold, they planted, they built it. And you guys are building, all right, this gay pride, man. All right, this pride month, man, since 1969. All right, verse 29, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, all right, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. You see that? Even thus, this is the point, verse 30, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. 
Woo! So the same way uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah went out, all right, by uh, fire and brimstone. Well, the fire and brimstone, brimstone is going to be these missiles. All right, Revelations 11 and 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. That great city is Babylon the Great, man, all right, which is America, man, all right? Dead bodies are you Israelites. It says, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So America is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Why? Because of its sodomy, all right, in the, in the, in the worshiping of the, its Egyptian gods, man, okay? And that goes back to uh, the, the Washington uh, Monument, which goes back to the, Egypt, uh, the Egyptians, man, okay? Which I believe it goes deeper than that. El, uh, Elder Yashawamba went into that recently. All right, so America is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And it's, and it's said spiritually, why? Because Yahweh Shai is not accepted here, man. This truth is not accepted here. You see? So this place is Sodom and Egypt. Uh, 2 Peter 2 and 5. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. See, we represent Noah's, man. We're spiritual, we're spiritual knowers, man. Starting with Elder Pastor Har on down. We're preachers of righteousness, man. Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, right? And this flood is going to be a lake of fire, man. It's going to be missiles that's going to flood this place, making it a lake of fire, man. Thus said the prophecies. And that's spiritual, man. Verse 6, it says, In turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned the world, it's like condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example Unto those that after should live ungodly. So Sodom and Gomorrah was an example, all right, of those that shall later come, later come in the end, which is America, that shall live ungodly and deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. And that's us too, man. We represent Lot, man. All right, because we're vexed with the filthy conversations, the filth of you wicked, man. All right, this pride month, man. This is wickedness, man. All right. Verse 8, for the righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And this is unlawful. All right. The scriptures say in the book of Leviticus 20 and 13. All right. If a man lie with men, he shall be put to death. Likewise, the woman, man. All right. But look here in uh, America and in Canada, bestiality is accepted. You can marry a horse. All right. <laughs> you can marry a car. You can be in love with your car, man. You know, I mean, this, this place is just weird, man. You know, it's a freak show, man. All right, verse 9, it's the point. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. So we're waiting for the Heavenly Father to ultimately open up on you uh, freaks, man. Proverbs 8 and 13, the fear of, the, of Yahweh is, the, is to hate evil. All right, the fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, pride, in arrogancy, in the evil way, in the fort mouth, do I hate? So if you fear your by some shot, you're supposed to hate evil. And T Fleet is pride, man. As you can see, pride was the first one. All right. Moving on. All right, bro. Moving on. Let's get the judgment. All right. Uh, Revelation 14 and 9. And there, and there, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, all right, and in his image, Forehead or in his hand, which is the RFID chip. All right, Karagma going to Karak and uh, grapple the information. All right, the pale, the stake that's going to be used to insert the, uh, the mark, the chip. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And it's the point, and he shall be tor tormented with fire and brimstone. See that? Fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. This place. All right, thus said the prophecies in the presence of Yahweh, of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the holy angels in the, in the elect, man. And the other nations are going to well and, uh, uh, well and, and uh, moan, be moaned for thee, man. All right, and that's in Revelations 18. In one hour, this place is gone. So with that, I just want to bring that out real quick. Lord's will is edifying to the elect. Till the next time, I say shalom.